A child who is born blind does not know what it is like to see. Blindness may seem normal until he or she is old enough to understand how other people do things. Therefore, a small child will not feel bad about blindness until someone teaches him or her directly or indirectly to feel bad. Nobody knows when a blind child really understands what blindness is. It should be explained little by little and discussed in a positive manner to convey the attitude, it's okay to be blind. Can you see lights? No. What colours can you see? None. Can you see in your dreams? Nothing. How many fingers am I holding? I can't see. Can you see lights? No. What colours can you see? None. What do you see in your dreams? Nothing. How many fingers am I holding? I can't see. Can you see lights? No. What colours can you see? None. What do you see in your dreams? Nothing. How many fingers am I holding? I can't see. I can't see. She's blind. I met Haluma on a visit to a blind school in Gambia. She had been kept out of the way in a room at the back of her house because her family was ashamed that she was blind. When I met Halima, she had been attending the Govi Resource Centre for the Blind for less than a week. Her family had been persuaded to let her go. She sat on her own, while other visually impaired children worked and played, afraid to join in.
This is the only school for the blind in Gambia. It caters for up to 100 blind and visually impaired children and it is a school of excellence, dignity and motivation. It believes that each child has a right to education and that discrimination must be overcome so each can take his or her place in society. Their motto is to make the impossible possible and I'm glad to have been a small part of doing this.